Hi guys, so I'm Kelly, for those of you who don't usually watch my videos, um, and I just wanted to do a quick review on the Lantano Lanolin, or HPA Lanolin. Um, I was sent this product, actually the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, um, it tells me that I need to state that I did not pay for this product. Um, I was sent this by the company to do an honest review on for free, um, and I'm not getting paid for it. So, yeah. Um, I will say most of the things that I do reviews on or do reviews on my blog or either there or make videos about, I don't pay for the products. They are sent to me for free, and then I just do an honest review about them, whether it be positive or negative. Um, if I do pay for something, I will state that in the video. Um, I know I've made one review video that I did pay for all the products in it, but the last few ones that I've been doing, they were sent to me. So, um, now that I've gotten that out of the way. Um, so, Lance No um, sent me these products. Um, I don't know, if you're not familiar with lanolin, lanolin is actually wool-based. It is for, um, for, like, you know, to protect your areas. Um, it's made at, out of, which I actually had to look this up because I was not sure what it was made out of. It's actually made out of the, after you shear like a sheep, <laughs> sounds really weird, after you shear a sheep and the wool is washed through, you know, and gotten whatever, all of that um, wool grease remains and then it goes through many types of refinements to make it pure and clean and then whatever comes out of that, that is what this stuff is. Um, and I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, ew, gross, that's disgusting. But if you think about it, like wool, especially if you're familiar with cloth diapering, wool is used as a um, good cover for that because, you know, the antibacterial properties of it and all that good stuff. So that's kind of, you know, the basis of this. Um, Lancinol lanolin is actually the, it's 100% pure. It is the purest lanolin in the world. Um, and it's just really great. Um, I'm very familiar with the Lancino products. I use them all throughout when I nursed my son, and I use them also with my daughter as well when I did nurse her. So when I got these products, I was kind of like really excited because I was already really familiar with them, and I'm a huge supporter of them. Um, the only thing that they've changed, though, since I use these products, which was, let's see, a little over a year ago since Wyatt will be two next weekend, um, is like they revamped it a little bit. Um, they have all new packaging, as you can see. I for to me, I think it's like a lighter purple, which I think is really cute. Comes in a cardboard box, and then they added HPA into that, which I'm not sure HPA stands for. I tried looking it up, and it said something about Health Protection Agency, but I'm not sure if that's what it stands for in this case. Um, if you go to the Lanolin website, which all of these things and more information and links will be on my uh, WordPress blog, which if you're on my channel page right now, um, it's to this side. You can click on that or just go to babybellykelly with an I.com. I'll leave the link down here as well. But on there will be a full, 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 full in-depth review and also links to a bunch of other stuff that I'll mention later. Um, so it comes in this box which is really cute, and then it comes in this BPA-free plastic packaging tube. Um, it's 1.41 ounces, so it's about 40 grams. And I remember the old Lancino lanolin being in a darker and larger tube. Um, I don't remember the price points of that one, so I can't say that it costs more for whatever, but according to the whole adding the HPA and all that and the revamping of it. The only thing that has changed other than the packaging is the fact that it goes, it's even purer now. They've made it, um, you know, it, they've just made it better. It's basically, I haven't even, I should open this one. They gave me a bunch of little test tubies too that I already opened and used. But if you take off this plastic wrap, well, I don't want to do that. I'll show you. Off these little ones. Sorry. This is, yeah. Um, if you open it up, it's now a clearer, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little bit clearer now. It used to have like a almost yellowy tint, but it's clearer now, and it also has like an, I mean it doesn't even smell, you can't smell anything, which 
again, when you're pregnant, that's really important. Um, so it's just, it's just gotten even better, basically. So it's got this nice, smooth, I mean, it doesn't take long for it to melt between your fingers. And it's just like this nice, satiny, you know, it's just really nice. It's lovely. Um, and it doesn't smell. I love that. But so there has it. I mean, when I used it, I could not really tell a difference other than the fact that the color is a little bit different of the cream and the name and the packaging has changed. But I really couldn't tell a difference other than that. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's get on my nose. Um, so on the back of the bottle are the tube. You'll find all your instructions, uses, and all of that. And I just think this is a really cute tube. And as you know, if you watch any of my other reviews, I'm huge onto, like, packaging. Like, I'm a packaging, like... I don't know why it's so important to me. Like, obviously, like, you shouldn't judge a book by the cover. But I do appreciate nice packaging, too. Um, and I think this is very unoffensive. It's very not in your face. And for, like, nipple cream that will wind up in the weirdest places, like, I would carry mine in my purse. I would carry mine in the diaper bag or just sit out, you know, around the house, wherever I decided to breastfeed. You don't really want something in your face that yells nipple cream, you know, in case people see it or come across it. But this is just, you know, it's a cute little tube. So... Um, yeah, and it may look like a small tube, but honestly, you, as you saw how much I put on it, it's like a little pea size, not even, actually, it's a little bit smaller than a pea, but you don't need that much, and you don't, you know, a little bit goes a long way, so this will last you quite a long time. Also, the expiration and shelf dates on these are like two years from when you buy it, so, you know, it, they're, it's a great product, and I don't think, I don't know, the little packaging shouldn't turn you away. That's what I mean by that. But anyways, so this is 100% um, natural. It's preservative free. Um, it's the world's purest lanolin. So it's very safe. You don't have to take it off before you breastfeed your child. Um, it's supposed to soothe and help protect your nipples um, if they're cracked. Like I had really bad cracked nipples with my son. Um, he used me as a human pacifier. Like I never, I don't, <laughs> the first few months, it was like he was always, like, attached to my boobs. Um, he didn't take a pacifier. He refused to. Um, so, for me, like, I was just very raw. I was very raw from the get-go. I had cracked nipples that would turn into infections, and it was just, I mean, I had numerous mastitis infections in both boobs, and it was very difficult. And the only thing that really soothed them or even felt like they were helping was this lanolin. So, I'm a huge supporter of this stuff. Um, anything that can help you through the worst moments of breastfeeding is, like, worth it to me. I don't care how much money it costs because, you know, you can only do so much because a lot of it's just, like, getting through those rough patches. And if you've breastfed, you know exactly what I mean. So if you can have a little help from a little product like this to get you over those bad humps, then I say go for it. So I really love this stuff. Um, I've also never used it during pregnancy until now. Um, I, <laughs> this is actually gross, so if you're, in, you know, really sensitive about TMI, stop watching, but I, <laughs> I put this stuff on because when I went swimming, what was it, it was last week I went swimming, and I spent all day outside, so I was sweating a bunch because it's really hot where I live, um, I was swimming, so obviously my bathing suit got wet, and I never changed out, but I kind of stayed in all day. At the end of the day, my bathing suit was still damp, and I took it off, and it's been so humid here, too, that that probably didn't help, and my nipples were, like, shriveled up and just, like, sticky and gross and white, and it was just, it was really gross. And I'm pretty positive that that happened because, which it's never happened before when I swam, I think it happened because of the combination of my colostrum that's been coming in and everything like that and the heat and then just having something so moist like just sitting on my breasts. I think that just like was too much moisture and they got over moisturized and turned really gross and like icky looking. So my idea was to put this stuff on the next time I was out all day, which was yesterday, um, I used it and my nipples instead of, because I sweat, you know, it's hot and I'm pregnant, which I know makes me look really gross and sound gross, but I used this this time, and because it's like, it's similar to Vaseline and stuff, but it's occlusive, um, it's like semi um is that the right word that I'm looking for? I'm pretty sure that's the word I'm looking for. I'm sorry, I had some notes over here, but um, it lets, basically it lets air go through, so even though it seals in and protects, it also lets your nipples breathe at the same time. So 
it kind of whipped away whatever was on my bathing suit or on my shirt or my bra from sweating or the colostrum, but at the same time, it still let my boobs breathe. And at the end of the day, I didn't have that shriveled up grossness anymore. It was just like, you know, this stuff had blended into my skin and it was just a nice, soft, normal looking nipple. So, I, you know, I will probably continue to use these during my pregnancy, especially because it's so hot out and especially when I go swimming because it's really helped. And honestly, I think it, for me, it helps condition them as well because my nipples are just like constantly changing through this pregnancy. So if you're having any issues like that, like by all means, you can use this actually before you start nursing. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a great product and it's safe and natural and babies like it. I mean, my son didn't have any issues with it when I was breastfeeding and had it on. Um, and you can use it as much as you want since it is so safe. And if you do have a wool allergy, because it's gone through so many refinements, and you can find all this on their website as well, um, it's, there's, it's non-allergenic for you. So, yeah. But I'm not going to be held liable if you have an allergic reaction. I'm just going by what their website says. So, but yeah, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a great product. And the price point on it is, I looked online because obviously I live in the Midwest, so my price points are going to be a little bit different than somebody who lives in like New York or LA. Um, but online, the price points was I, you know, I found it at drugstore.com for $7.99, but then I also found it at babiesrs.com for $12.99. So it ranges anywhere between there. Again, there's more links to all that, more information on my website. Also, what you'll find on my website at babybellykelly with an i.com is going to be a link to a coupon that Lance and all is offering to all of my readers and viewers and friends and all of you good people out there. Um, it's $5 off their new bottle feeding system, um, MAMA, M-O-M-M-A, I believe. Um, you can click that and you can get $5 off. They're now being carried out all Walmart stores. Um, and I'm pretty sure everybody has a Walmart. I mean, they're like a conglomerate, like global crazy town. So. Yeah, you can go there, and actually when I looked online for them, just to kind of see what they look like and what they were all about, I'll probably actually try one because they're kind of cool looking. But um, right now they're being offered for, I think, like $8.95. I think they're usually like $9.99 or something like that. But so if you have a $5 off coupon for that, then you're getting it for 50% off. And if you get them right now when they're on sale at Walmart, then you get one for like three dollars and something cents. So it does say one per person, but I mean, I can't imagine that you can't print off a bunch of them and then just keep going back. But who knows? Maybe I shouldn't encourage that. Scratch that. Never mind. Um, but head on over to my blog um, for more information, and the link is at the bottom. And all the links to different places where you can buy this stuff, especially drugstore.com, um, are there as well. So I hope this is helpful. I really do love this stuff. There's not a lot of things that I don't have anything negative to say about, um, but this is one of them. Like, I really don't have anything bad to say about this. And also, you know, the Lalashi League International also supports um, and endorses this. So it's kind of like, you know, if you can't trust them about breastfeeding products, who can you trust? So. Yeah, I love this, and if you're pregnant, it's good to have around two, and again, it's got a shelf life of like two years. You can see the expiration date at the top right here. Um, so even if you get it while you're pregnant and stuff, you can always just keep it too while you wait for your baby to come. So anyways, yeah, that's it. I will have another review for you guys next week on the Drea cover, which I'm really excited about as well. I actually was contemplating which one to do first, this one or that one, but I got this first, so that's what that is. If you go to my Facebook page, you can check out my fan page. Again, if you're on my channel page, it's over here or it's over here. I don't know what the link is, but you can go to one of those pages and um, you can see little previews of the products that I get when I'm out using them. So, I don't know. That's kind of fun, right? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, look forward to that, and I will talk to you guys all later. Thanks. Bye. I, don't know, I never know how to stop recording. <laughs>